Today we are going to review the bandeja with Mauri Andrini. That shot makes no sense at all. Footwork, kick smash. Tan tan tan, tan. beautiful. Mauri, head coach of Hello Padel Academy. We are here in Barcelona, ready for the master final. But now we are going to review the bandeja. Bandeja shot. Yes, good. It's a defensive shot. Yeah, we're not talking about a shot that is going to be very offensive. But the more offensive you can be with that shot, into consideration that it's a defensive shot at the net position. The better. But if you understand that, yeah, the better. Exactly. So I like to consider the three kind of bandejas that the, 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 the ball that comes straight to your plain shoulder, the one that comes to close to your body line, and the one that comes to your non plain shoulder. So the decisions will be different of the shot, but the concept is it will be the same to recover the net to keep the net position let's go vamos mauri so we're gonna we're gonna play first the placement bandeja which is a shot that comes from your body line let's say towards to your no, to the plain shoulder yeah mm -hmm. so which is gonna be that shot nice wow man your shot is far away better than your beaver at the moment huh? play softer don't play that hard but if I play deeper, eh, beautiful shot. But again, good. Listen, Pablo, if your shot bounces in front of me, yeah, try to play a shot from there, try to make the ball bounce in front, what is going to happen is that you're going to, you know, sometimes say, hey, they're attacking. No, no, you are giving me the option to attack. So make sure that your bandeja goes behind the line. So in order, so that I play off the back rows so you can recover the net. Because that's what you told me, that you want to recover the net position. Go, deep, different level. Go back, beautiful. Yes, so make sure that if you play hard, make sure the ball rebounds first here, in order that the player moves away. But if you play hard and the ball tends to go forward, you are pushing me forward and to reach the net. Yeah, vamos, go there. Hit the ball, bounce again, beautiful, go again, nice, different level. But now, the ball is coming towards you, the ball is coming towards your body, so it's a different kind of bandeja. Not that one, sorry, my fault, there. That is a shot that if you move away to play the placement bandeja as you're doing now, you're losing your position. Mm -hmm. And you don't want to lose your position. You want to hit the ball at the highest point. Extend your arm, extend your arm, and play the shot from back to forward. Yes? Vamos. Go there, push. Beautiful. That's the shot. But it Be bounced really close to the net. I mean, it bounces before the white line, so you can enter and push me. Yes. If I play the bandeja from here, and the ball bounces, it's too easy. But if you're there and I play this, it's not easy to attack. Yes? So what you can do with the shot when it's coming straight to your body? Play softer. Slightly softer down the middle. Make sense? The bounce has to be here. It's not his shot, it's not my shot. It's like, uh, whose shot is that? Go. It's tricky, huh? Beautiful. Much better. Vamos. Go. Good. Give me bandeja number one. Bandeja number one. Beautiful. The ball, remember, deeper. Nice. Bandeja number two. Open it. Nice. Extend your arm. Extend it. Extend it. Extend it. Push. Go. Extend your arm. Extend. Push. Nice. Extend your arm. Extend. Push. Beautiful. How can I attack that shot? There is no chance. You can reach the net position. Easy. No problem. Yes? But what, what about now if I play more open to your no plane shoulder? Left. To my left. To your left side, to your non plain shoulder. What you're gonna do is the kick bandeja. Kick bandeja is a shot that is coming to your non plain shoulder. For this bandeja, you're gonna try to play where? Where do you cross court? From here, let's say I'm a lefty. If I play from here to the fence, that shot makes no sense at all. Why? You need it, you need it. Yeah, I did, but, but why? It's too risky. Too risky. Too risky. No and the fence here becomes a wall. Yeah. Senseless. The rebound it will be like, like the a The rebound wall. will be, yeah, because all the strength, all the, the, all the, the fence yeah. doesn't really make sense. 
as more you open to the side, the more you open, the more you see the holes. And the edge. And the more, and the more, and the more. So that's why I'm telling you now that the bandeja you're gonna play from your non pain shoulder will be from here. So now put your eye there and have a look on the holes there. Beautiful to play that kick. So the shot after the, the, the rebound of the fence will be a little bit unpredictable. Your bandeja will be more offensive. Make sense? Yeah, totally. Good, let's have a look. Vamos, Pablito, eh? So, first of all, I want you to prepare the racket behind your neck, eh? Va, prepare. Good shot. Go again. Nice. Wow. Go, prepare. Wasn't bad. Yes, you are like far away from the ball. I want you to move faster okay. backwards. Faster. Yes, ready? Stay there, stay there. Go. You see? You're more comfortable because you are doing the progression. You are already here. Yeah, yeah it's like I tell you, play a volley, play a volley, and you are like this. Mm -hmm. But now I tell you, play a volley. Well, you struggle a little bit more. Same thing. So make sure you think about your feet before you think about the shot. Your feet, feet, footwork, kick smash. Ta -na 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 -na. Tan -tan. Tan -tan. Beautiful. How much risk did you run in that shot? Not too much. 50 I mean, maximum? 40? It was the, almost the more open court that I had. So you didn't run that much the risk. Which is the risk of the player there to hit the ball back? High. That is the professional players, what they do. They risk less putting the balls where, they, where you're going to risk more to hit it back. Yeah. If you risk 80% in a shot that your opponent will reach it with 20% of, yeah? You play a shot of the back well, like this, it's too easy. Make sense? Yeah. Go back. Beautiful. Good mistake. I like it. Different, absolute different level. Bandeja number one. Bandeja number one. Don't move the wrist, show me the racket, show me the racket, show me the racket, go. Beautiful. Pablo, remember that feeling. That is a shot you should play 100 time, times and get 95 in. Number two, flat bandeja, extend your arm. Extend your arm. Too much. That's not you. No, I don't want that. Extend your arm, push. Beautiful, enough, 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 good enough. Number three. Kick is bandeja, different level. Good? So with these three shots, now we're gonna play two points to see okay. how they play, how your bandejas work. Yes? Go. No more bandeja. Good. Vamos. Good. Kick bandeja, kick bandeja. Unlucky. Unlucky. Vamos again. Cover more the middle. Oh, chiquita. Chiquita. <laughs> bandeja number one. Number one. Yes. <laughs> Lucky you. We start with a kick bandeja. Go. Wow. No, Pablo, amazing. Amazing shot. Very well done, Pablo. So the only tip I will give you is that if you know yourself, how you play, how you perform with the different kind of shots, which of the three kind of bandejas you like the most? The third one. 100%. So you know yourself now. The more you know yourself, the better to play against uh, different players because you know yourself. My the witnesses. kick bandeja is very good. Yeah. So if I play against you, or if I have players who play against you, I would say, listen, be careful with playing lobs open to Pablo because his kick bandeja is very good. But you've got also to know it because otherwise you will run the same risk with that shot than with this shot. And that's not correct. Do you follow me? I follow you. Yeah? Maury. I don't know if people in their houses are following us. Maori. This is gold. Man, absolutely different level. This is gold. Thank you very much, Pauline. Hello, Padel Academy. Welcome. To everyone, different level.